Alright, welcome to the third tutorial, third installment of my RPG Maker XP tutorial. Uh, Alright, in the last one, we, or in the last two, I guess we covered map, map, basically the entire basics. This whole bar up here, uh, events, the first page of events, anyways, and, uh, anyways, in this one, we are going to cover the second page of events, and this is going to take a little longer, so. I don't know if we'll have time to even touch the third one. Uh, anyways, we'll see. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay. Second page of events. Alright, uh, transfer player. This. Okay, here, look. Let's say if we. Alright, let's make a swirly little tile here on our first page of events. Okay. Now, say we want this area to take us to a different map, possibly out of the desert to another map in the desert, which is where you would make another map here. Alright, so let's make this map properties uh, desert. Make this a different desert. We'll fill this one with footprints. We'll call it the footprint desert. Dum dum dum. Anyways, and so this is where our event is going to take us, okay? You can do this for buildings, like if someone's going in and out of a building, uh, rooms in a building, different maps, world map, I mean, this is a very key point in your game. Okay, so uh, we're going to make uh, this grassy little, whoa, 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 whoa. No, we're going to make this grassy little field where we come out at. Alright, let's go back to the first map. And we will make, if you step on this tile, on any of these three tiles, we are going to make it transfer player, you pick your map, to map 2, and we want it to teleport you right there, into the middle of the next map, so we're going to press OK. Uh, point with variables, that's where you just pick where you want it to go, on the same map or a different map, uh, you can usually just go to direct appointment, and you should be alright. Alright, uh, direction, you can pick you know, if you want them, what direction you want to be facing, and so we'll just leave it at retain, which means they will stay in the same direction they were facing when they teleport. Fading, if you want to fade in and out, uh, that's just basically personal preference, uh, what your game looks like, etc., etc. So, uh, this should be good. We'll go ahead and apply that just so I can show you. Uh, player starting position, we're going to start it on the first map. Play test. Save changes. Yes, wait, wait. wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot where I am that giant squid guy. God, look at that. That's just the coolest thing. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and talk to our event that we've made say hey there, you know. Alright, now let's go to the next map. Oh, right, see, I forgot something. Uh, to go to the next map, we have it set as action button. Uh, which means you have to press enter to go to the next map, but we don't want that. We want it, if we touch it, we go to the next map, right? Alright, so let's retry that. Mm, come on. Oh yeah, giant squid. Alright. And, bam, we are at the next map, which can have anything in it. You know, there's lim the possibilities are endless. Alright, let's go ahead and not... Oh, here. We're going to copy that paste that and paste that. So now anytime you step on that, you're going to go to that same place in the map and like I said, you can use that for anything. Anyways, okay, the second event or the second event on the second page, set event location. Uh this is just if you want to move an event like from one map to another or change where it is on the map, you know, it's pretty pointless actually. Uh, scroll map, that's good for basically the only thing I use this for is cutscenes uh, it's pretty simple, scroll the map in whatever direction you want how far you want it to go and how fast you want it to go definitely good for cutscenes uh, change map settings it just changes your battle background, your fog if like you want it to get real foggy or something uh, the panorama I mean just anything uh, change fog color tone, the color of your fog, how long you want it to take until it gets to where you want it. Fog opacity, uh, which is just how thick or how clear it is. Show animation. This is pretty good for, uh, I use this a lot for cutscenes. If you want an event to attack another event, like say you're making a movie, you would use this a lot. You know, instead of making them go into battles every time, 
you can just make it show a animation on whatever event that you want. Uh, change transparent flag. Simple as that. Change a flag to be transparent and normal. Set move route. Uh, also good for cutscenes or if you just want people moving back and forth so everyone's not just robotic and still. Uh, you pick what event you want. You know what what's moving. Uh, repeat action. Ignore if can't move, etc., etc. Uh, move down, left, right, up, lower left, lower right. I mean, just that's all these things you can make them do. Uh, wait for moves completion. Uh, don't do the next thing listed in the event until the move route is done. Uh, prepare for transition. I'm not really sure what that is because you can just make it transition. I'm not sure what prepare for transition is. It may just help the system speed up. Or Anyways, uh, execute transition. Pick what transition you want to go on. Uh, like from one map to another if someone gets knocked out or something like that. Uh, screen color tone. You can like make it fade to black or you can give it like a sepia kind of tone. Um, how long you want it to take to get to its maximum. A screen flash. Same thing. What color it is. How long it is. Screen shake. How strong it is. Like how far the screen shakes. The speed of it. The time. Uh, show picture. This is good for like in text if you want someone's face to come up beside the text. Uh, you show a picture and you find the coordinates. It's really a pain in the ass. But you find the coordinates of where your text box is popping up and you pick what picture you want to show, etc., etc. Uh, move picture. You're just moving the picture. Rotate the picture. Change picture color tone. You know. Erase picture. Anyway, set weather effects. Uh, this is really good for setting a mood. You know, uh, rain, storm, snow. How strong it's coming down. How long it takes it to start. Like if you want it to kind of fade in, or if you want it to be storming, or just immediately happen. You know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Man, I say that a lot. Need to calm down. Anyways, uh, play BG BGM. Uh, pick your song you want it to play. Fade out, play BGS, fade out, memorize BGM, restore BGM, play music effects, sound effect, and stop sound effect. And uh, that's it for the second page of commands. Uh, in the next one, we're covering the third page of events, and then we'll probably go into making cutscenes, uh, switches, conditions, uh, stuff like that. Okay, so tune in next time. And remember, kids, only you can prevent forest fires or, you know, something.